Uh, this morning you can see our Ballantine camera uh, looking great, but some patchy low cloud cover. If you look really, really close there toward the buildings, uh, Dallas more of the same, but look at Anson County over toward Union County. Really, really foggy out there as we do have a lot of locally dense fog to kick off the morning. Right now Monroe at the sensor showing a quarter mile of visibility, no visibility there in Wadesboro, and that is under the threshold for a dense fog advisory, which is in effect for Anson County, Richmond County as well as Stanley County. You can see some of that fog creeping into parts here of Chesterfield County, Northern Lancaster too. So keep that in mind this morning. Pretty much if you're east of I-77 or south there of 85, you're seeing higher uh, fog potential this morning. And of course, the valleys of the mountains oftentimes see it as well. This is kind of the leftover moisture as that system rolled through uh, yesterday, finally kind of clearing us out. It was a really nice night last night for some sunrises and sunsets. That'll be the same, of course, this morning and really little to no rainfall expected for today. So I'm not uh, anticipating a day where many of you will need to have the umbrella only a stray shower possible by the second half of Saturday. So abundant sunshine today, a mix of a few clouds, high temperatures reaching the lower 90s. We're once again in the lower 90s tomorrow, but we will build in a few showers and storms possible, especially by the second half of the day. So either day really is good to get outside if you're okay with the fact that it is more humid outside, but Saturday is going to be much drier comparatively to tomorrow. Now with that increase in humidity, look at that. Our high temperatures are in the lower 90s, but our feels like temperatures mid to upper 90s this weekend. So please make sure, of course, you're staying safe, staying hydrated. Our peak heat index value is going to be on Monday before we will see some changes as we enter Tuesday and Wednesday, which is why Tuesday is my pick of the week. Uh, this afternoon, we are going to see again a lot of sunshine. You can see that reflected here. A few more clouds mixing in tomorrow with a few showers possible early in the day. Eventually, the storm potential kicks up. This is primarily in the afternoon, uh, likely around 3 or 4 o'clock for parts of the metro, and we could see a few lingering storms even toward late Sunday and early Monday. And this is with an approaching storm system. One of the reasons why our humidity is really cranked up on Monday, but also some of these storms with that instability will have the chance to become strong to severe. We have a low chance tomorrow with those storms after 3 p.m. That does get medium, especially for areas north uh, west of Charlotte on Monday. And again, this is just going to be dependent time wise uh, on how much you know heating we have, how much sunshine we have. Our primary risk here is going to be wind gusts in excess of 60 miles per hour. So if you have outdoor items that you know you don't want to lose, you don't want them to blow away. Sunday, Monday, make sure they're rot inside. And with this comes the risk for some of those downburst wind gusts. We know that can sometimes do more damage than a tornado. So please take those severe thunderstorm warnings that are issued very seriously. We should treat those always like tornado warnings and head to the interior room in your home. So locally again today going to be great 91 degrees. We will see storms again tomorrow afternoon. Some of those gusty winds primary risk there for some of those strong to severe thunderstorms comes Monday and then that front will actually dry us out a bit as we enter Tuesday and Wednesday. Day. So both days my pick of the week as it's going to be just great days to get outside and enjoy some of that sunshine.